This has been her all morning. Don't know where that energy came from, but good Wednesday morning, everyone, from myself and my hyper puppy. I needed her to film the last section of her video, the How Does Harlow Help Me section, and she was just not working with me. So I played with her a lot, burned her energy, and then things went a lot smoother. So I filmed all of the sections for the Harlow video, and I'm almost done editing it. I think I'm gonna go live today just to make sure I got all the important questions into the Harlow video before I finalize it. And tomorrow I learn my bone marrow biopsy results so I can film the last two sections of my chronic illness video. And all my videos will be done! My POTS infusion video and my port video is already done. They've been done. So this is all super exciting. <laughs> Hello, I really want to get these videos up for y'all, so I'm going to do it as quickly as I can, but still doing my best to make them look good. And I've been talking to my home health company this morning about how to get back to home health after we do IVIG a few times successfully in a hospital or outpatient center. And it seems a little tricky, but doable. I'm just worried it's going to take forever to arrange to do IVIG in an outpatient infusion center or in a hospital, but I just have to have faith that it will all work out. So I'm sitting here editing the Harlow video and it's almost done. I'm just worried I missed an important question I should have put in here. So I'm thinking of doing a live session on my Instagram account today, unannounced, just to see if somebody could think of an important question I should include before I finalize it. But oops. I wanted to give you all a sneak peek of the Harlow video. Don't know how well it'll look with the camera recording, but... Haha. <laughs> of course, there's pink in there, and the whole little da 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 da, like the skipping noise you hear with the music, that's only because it's not finalized. When I finalize it and put it all together, there's no skip beats or weird things like that. So I want to do that live, and <laughs> Harlow just wants to chew her toys, I guess. So, but I need to clean down here. As I mentioned before, I need to disinfect and keep my house very clean due to my allergies and my immunodeficiency, so that's why I clean so often. So what I'm gonna do is clean down here a bit, get ready to run the Roomba, but then do the live down here. After the live, I'll run the Roomba down here and then go chill upstairs. Sound good, Harlow? She doesn't care. <laughs> Harlow, you gonna help me dust? Oh, good. Let me see that. <gasps> Thank you. So yes, I just dusted down here and I am messing around with Harlow, but I'm also practicing her task work. So her hold it, task is very handy because due to nerve issues from my Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, my neck is hypermobile from my EDS and my hypermobile joints pinch down on my nerves and it causes numbness in my hands sometimes. Also when I get cataplexy, which is muscle weakness from my narcolepsy, my hands become useless sometimes. And when that happens, I obviously can't hold things very well. So Harlow helps by holding items for me when that happens. And so even though I don't actively need that task right now, we practice it when I don't need the task work. So when I do need task work, she is very sharp with her skills. Right, Hippo? Right, the Hippo? You good dog? Harlow can also help when my hands become useless from those things by helping me undress because Losing dexterity in her hands can make it very difficult to dress and undress yourself. And one of her favorite commands to help me during that time is socks off. Hi, Lou, socks off. Socks off. Good girl, give. Thank you, Harlo. Good dog. Harlow got a bit of training. I finished cleaning downstairs. I was just about to start the live when I remembered today was the day I was gonna sort out all of my medical bills from January. And long story short, system error in the marketplace. I had no insurance coverage for January. I was in the hospital all of January, racked up tons of medical bills, did an appeal, won the appeal. Recently, my insurance got reinstated for January, so now I have to call each medical place that has billed me individually and tell them to run my insurance again because I have insurance coverage for January now. You want to see how many bills I have? This is all just from January. It's crazy. 
So that's what I'm gonna do now. Fingers crossed, wish me luck, and I am just so thankful we won that appeal though. We had tens of thousands of dollars in medical debt, and now it'll be taken care of. God is so good. All right, anyways, time to do the hard part. <laughs> Finally sorted that out. Everything is going to be resubmitted and taken care of. Thankfully, only one bill they submitted again and said that insurance denied it because it was a non-covered service. And that was an ambulance trip after I had to use my EpiPen. That should be covered. So we'll see. I'm going to talk to insurance about that if they deny it a third time. So anyways, all is good. Now I'm going to do the live. That live was a lot of fun. Thank you so much if you joined. I really love connecting with y'all. Y'all gave me a lot of good feedback on the Harlow video and helped me weigh some pros and cons about the P.O. box. I'm still debating whether I should get one. Not sure yet, but again, I loved connecting with all of y'all. So thank you. I really enjoyed that. Oh, look who came right after I ended the live. The people wanted to see you again. What, you're too good for them, huh? Hey Harlow, let's put your toys away so we can run the robot. Harlow. Good dog. Go get your ball. <laughs> Harlow, clean up. Clean up. Good girl. Alright, let's wake up your friend. Named in honor of Judd, BB-8. Yeah, I know nothing about Star Wars. <laughs> I have resided to my bedroom, and the good thing about the Roomba is the noise doesn't bother my sensory processing disorder like our old vacuum. I don't need to wear headphones around it, but it does bother me to some extent. So while it's vacuuming, I like to be on the opposite floor. So that's why I decided to come up here while it vacuums downstairs. Just editing the Harlow video, but it's time to take my pills. 4 p.m. slot. All good. I actually take pills five times a day and I'm on the lowest regimen I can be in order to control my chronic illnesses, meaning my doctors all speak with each other and try and keep me on as little medications as possible, but I'm on what I need to be in order to function as best I can. I'm also gonna check my blood sugar right now. I am feeling totally fine, but I'm supposed to be checking it three times a day after I eat, and about an hour and a half, two hours ago, like just before I started the live, I had some bread and peanut butter for a snack. Ta-da, 118, that is a perfect number. So in yesterday's vlog, a lot of y'all commented that bread and peanut butter seem to be what I'm eating before I have a shaky episode and my sugar goes, not technically low, but in the 70s. And it's not that bread and peanut butter are causing that, it's just that bread and peanut butter are my go-to foods when I'm feeling nauseous from my gastroparesis, which is pretty often lately. So I eat bread and peanut butter all the time and check my sugar after it a lot of the time. And it's only those few times that it's been in the 70s. A lot of the time I have perfect blood sugar numbers after I eat bread and peanut butter. But the suggestions to eat more sugary foods, I will try that and see if it helps. Judd did not get let off early, even though he had to go in like at 4 a.m. this morning to qualify nighttime shooting for work, so he's gonna be pretty tired when he gets back, but thankfully he can take it easy tonight. I've made it home after my super long day. I've been up since like 3.45-ish, and it's now 5.09. I just got home like five minutes ago. It's now, busy day. What a happy puppy that is. And she's itchy. <laughs> Judd is home. Finally in comfortable clothes. Awesome, he got a vest today. A bulletproof vest. Yup. Awesome. What do you want? We just did some training things to put into her uh, Harlow video, a compilation of all her task work. So here is one of those videos. Harlow, water bottle, I'm thirsty. Good girl. All right, go shut the fridge. Shut the fridge. Good girl, Harlow. Come here. Good dog. Good girl. I am wearing a different outfit in that video, but I have my reasons. Don't judge me. Also, 
Harlow has to go back to shut the fridge every time, even if the fridge is already closed, because if I'm in another room, I won't know if the fridge is closed. So she has to go make sure it's shut, even if it's shut all the way by itself. It's to get her in the habit of always shutting the fridge no matter what. Well, Judd is gonna relax, which he definitely deserves after his long day. Harlow's gonna chill with him, and I'm gonna get started on dinner. We've got Harlow's delicious dinner, complete with blackberries and coconut oil. My supervisor, of course. We got french fries going, veggies, and melt-in-your-mouth chicken. Our dinner closely resembles last night's dinner because I am running out of food to cook in this house. We have to go to the grocery store at least tomorrow to get a few things and then definitely do our weekly shopping on Friday. I usually am good at grocery shopping enough for the whole week, but this time, I don't know, I didn't get enough food and we are hey, running up. short. <laughs> Shut up! <Hey>, <laughs> This is one of my favorite chicken recipes. Judd likes it too. We have got to go grocery shopping, babe. Like, we're running low on food Ew. in this house. What? The broccoli tastes like carrot. You said that last night. Yeah, it does it's, not. It's, it's, the flavor hasn't changed. It does not it's a taste complaint. like carrot. I'm going to complain to the chef. Oh my god. Harlow. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Harlow, you stay out there with your bone. Good girl. Oh, well, we are just laying here relaxing and enjoying ourselves. I realize some of y'all may want to teach your dogs how to retrieve a water bottle out of the fridge, whether it'll be a useful task to help with your disability or just a cool party trick. So that is a combination of teaching your dog how to tug on command, open and close doors, hold an item for an extended period of time, and retrieval. And luckily I have tutorials for all of those things in my training tutorial playlist. Then you just put it all together and voila, your dog can retrieve water from the fridge. There's a little more to it than that, but I don't have a specific tutorial for how to combine it all to teach your dog to get water out of the fridge, but you can teach your dog all of those building blocks. And then there's other YouTube tutorials out there on the internet already that'll teach you how to teach your dog to retrieve water from the fridge. In the near future, I am planning to make more training tutorials once I get my other videos up like the chronic illness video and the Harlow video and the other videos y'all have been requesting. So I just wanted to give y'all at least a little bit of guidance on how to teach that uh, task or trick, whatever you want it to be, in case you were wondering. And that's it for today. Judd and I had some cookies for oh, dessert. You had some cookies. Yeah, Judd didn't really eat any. I had two and I'm gonna save some for tomorrow. And that's it. Thank you so much for joining us in our adventure. Stay Ooh. tuned because tomorrow I should be learning my bone marrow biopsy results, which is gonna be awesome. This guy's exhausted, so we are gonna turn in early once again. Hope y'all have a great night.